What's up guys, it's Eric. I'm out here with the uh, 8S Creighton uh, with the M2C uh, short wheelbase uh, chassis again, the Crusher chassis. Uh, this thing is just a complete animal and uh, just loving every minute of it. And especially now we're getting even uh, more, uh, more M2C upgrades on it. Uh, Mitch has been awesome enough to make uh, some suspension blocks for it. Um, I kind of recommended that since this truck is set up a lot like the 6S trucks as far as the basic design, you know, with these uh, suspension blocks and stuff. So, and I was having some issue with the stock ones with the pin pulling out uh, down here, you know, just pulling through the metal and stuff and it was cracking the plastic. Uh, and also under here, the screws, you know, uh, over time, the screws were just uh, starting to strip out of the plastic where it screwed into the plastic right there in the front and rear. So that right there really locks it down, makes it a lot more solid. Uh, you know, you're, you're not gonna have as much play in your arms. Um, I do have uh, all four blocks in here done. It's kind of hard to see. Um, but that's the the rear one right there and you can't even really see the front for all the all the uh, uh, Steering parts, but I do have the front and, and very rear blocks done too uh, behind the skid plate uh, All 7075 super nice and also the shock shafts um, This is the most awesome thing here is uh, some nice uh, hardened shock shafts I've already given this truck one test with it so far. Uh, I'm doing some pretty big airs uh, Which is for a 30 pound truck. It's it's pretty impressive that it even takes that kind of stuff at all. So um, and this thing is just super beefcake now um, so far the shocks are holding up straight haven't had any issues So I'm gonna give it another little run I'm gonna kind of freestyle out here at this little spot that I found with this big mound and kind of play around with it um, uh, You know again, it does have this uh, extra um, uh, mount right here for your uh, front um, uh, Front chassis brace. I've had no issues with that. Um, I did bust one of these little uh, uh, Plastic uh, rod ends, but again, those are really easy to replace and you know a lot cheaper so, all right, guys. I'm on 8S again. I've got the hobby, uh, the hobby wing 1100 KV in here, with a 30 tooth pinion with the uh, uh, Max uh, uh, 5 ESC. All right, guys. I'll see what's up. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh! I think she might have got her first triple backflip. That was a good shock shaft test. <laughs> I'm gonna pop my body up here. They still look straight. That was a pretty good uh, vertical fall there. Yep. So good. So far, so good. That was close. Oh! Oh, that's a durability test. Guys, that's gonna be it. Uh, this thing was a complete blast again. Uh, hit up a few different spots. Uh, the shock shafts I still look perfectly straight, uh, which is a huge improvement. Um, you know, again, uh, adding the uh, you know the droop screws in here and then the the uh, M2C pistons to kind of smooth the shocks up, keep them from locking up under hard launches, uh, definitely helped. Uh, but you know, adding these uh, hardened shock shafts uh, definitely uh, made it 100% better. So the front and the rear look look really good. So huge shout out to uh, M2C for that, Mitch Looper and. Uh, and if you guys keep up with my channel, I'm working on a uh, uh, like a rally style uh, car. I got uh, you know I'm really getting into like rally racing, like the old classics, you know, from the '80s and stuff. So I've I've kind of decided to to take one of my old my old uh, V2 Typhons and kind of tear it down and build it into a rally car. I've got a Lancia body, like an '80s style Lancia, uh, kind of go Italian style. So we'll we'll see what's up with that. So you guys keep an eye out for that. You know, along the way, I'll kind of post some pictures and stuff in the social media, etc. So all right, guys, uh, until next time. RC Duty 1, peace out.